Right now it is time for us to take a look at that weather forecast and let's see if he's going to fool around with us for tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. No, well, it may sound like an April Fool's joke, but it won't be. But there could be some snow showers around tomorrow. Uh -huh. No doubt about that. A very chilly air mass coming in. Unseasonable for this time of the year. But we normally get that, at least in the early part of April. Um, interestingly enough, I thought you'd be interested to know that yesterday, the hottest temperature in the country comes out of Texas. Rio Grande Village in Texas, 101 degrees. Now, think about this, folks. Texas, 101. Now, we're just going to go over to Utah, which is not far from Texas. And it's a place called Peter Sinks, 20 below zero. So the difference in high and low yesterday in the United States was 121 degrees. And there were only a few states apart. Peter Sinks is this big crater in uh, Utah. Uh, and they have, uh, they, they, they just don't, know why it is so cold in this crater. Uh, but they put down uh, automated uh, measuring devices and everything down in here. And often um, it comes up with temperatures like this, 20 below zero. Anybody Incredible. Live, anybody live there? No. It's a big crater. Big, big crater. Nobody lives there. Nope. Uh -huh. So, but, uh, but that was the cold spot, and I thought uh, you'd be interested in that. Um, in the meantime... Uh, before we get to our weather, I was just curious to find out from Marshall, did you get the uh, uh, trees lifted off your car yesterday? No. Um, what has to happen, It's got it, the insurance companies are in control. The, because the trees are on the cars, okay, they, they, before they cut the trees, they have to lift them off the vehicles. So they have to find a piece of equipment and get uh, somebody to come in and lift the trees off the vehicle and then cut them up. What 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 uh, what my landlord did yesterday was trim around the trees so uh, my dog watcher could get into her car and get everything out of it. Her car is totaled. Uh, there's the I mean, uh, it is just gone. Uh, it is a, it, it's not a pancake, but uh, it, it was it was it's gone. It's still hard to tell. Uh, my car appears to be semi okay, but you never know because a. Uh, a trunk did hit the front hood, and you don't know. I'm, I'm going to have the suspension checked because my uh, my landlord's uh, son owns the house right across the street from me, and I, I saw the video of what happened because we we all have motion cameras around our houses because of bears and stuff like that, and I saw what happened, Pat. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is, at my house, we got the Mount Mount Rigus behind me. Okay, so we very rarely get strong. Uh, west east winds okay very rarely it's always uh, north to south south to north you know we get swirling winds like that well what must have happened with these winds the other day uh, is somehow uh, a strong gust of wind got over the hit over the mountain you know what I mean and then gained speed coming back down because mm -hmm. you can see pictures about 10 seconds before about 10 seconds before the tree breaks apart, you, you see it violently moving west to east, violently. And then all of a sudden, the part that falls off, it doesn't blow off. It, it, it breaks and falls off. And boy, those things, it comes down with a thud. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to watch it. So, uh, but anyways, they have to take the trees off the cars. And then when, once they do that, I mean, I, like I said, I know the one car is totaled. And my car, I've just got to have some things checked out because I've got to make sure the hood's not lying on the engine. I've got to make sure that the glass uh, isn't broken too bad in the moonroof. And then I have to check the suspension because it did take a whack in the front. Mm -hmm. And those tree limbs are not light. And when they fall 20 feet, so we'll, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I might be lucky. I might get out with just like... A, um, having my insurance have to cover two or three or you know maybe three or four thousand dollars worth of damage, but uh, Heidi's car is gone. Done. Sold for sold for iron. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry for her. Well, but, we won't have to worry about wind today, but you will have to worry about uh, showers coming in this afternoon. Uh, best time would be between one and three. That's when they'll start. Low 60s. We'll have periods of rain tonight, mid 40s. Now for tomorrow. 
showers and or wet snow showers will end by afternoon and it'll get windy then and the highs will only be in the 40s it'll be partly cloudy with a cold wind friday 40 to 45 at best sunny to partly cloudy mid 50 saturday easter sunday is now looking very bright i think there's going to be variable cloud cover and there could be um, you know a, a light shower here and there on easter sunday with highs staying in the 50s. Now, the winds that the wind that is coming tomorrow, uh, you right. say it's going to be windy. Uh, we're not going to have those 50-mile-an-hour gusts, though, right? No, there'll be gusts about 30, and uh, same will hold true on um, on Friday. Gusts probably, about 30. Maybe I'll park my, my other car someplace else. <laughs> I, I totally would do that if I were you. And, of course, um, uh, are you in tomorrow? Are you coming in tomorrow? Why wouldn't I? Um, only because today's the 31st and HBO Max is going to be premiering uh, your movie. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll watch it when I get home tomorrow. Like I said, I I'm don't... to wait till tomorrow, okay. It, yeah, I don't need to be first in line to see it. I, you know, I, as long as I can see it, uh, I'll, I'll see it and then uh, and then go from there. No, I don't. Okay. I don't have. I'm not one of those people that has to be. You know, okay, the it's this is when it's debuting at uh, nine o'clock on Thursday night. No, right. No, I I can I can wait till then. I can wait till I get home and and settle in. Yeah, to watch Godzilla versus Kong. Godzilla yeah, versus he, Kong. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'll uh, get a chance to see that uh, today or tonight, but. Um, I'll give you, if you don't, I'll give you my, because uh, I'll definitely watch it later on today, but I'll give you my uh, my thumbs up or thumbs down. You just said you were going to wait till tomorrow. No, I, I, no, I meant when I got home. I mean, I'm not going to rush and watch it. Like, when I get home, I, I always take a little nap, and then I, I do my afternoon work in between 2 and 4 uh, for the radio station and update the news and everything like that, and then I feed the animals, and then so around 5 o'clock tomorrow, uh, I'll if I'm if I'm if I'm feeling bright and chipper and can stay awake for two hours, uh, then I'll watch it tomorrow evening at around five o'clock. But if not, I'll watch it the next day. Okay. Oh, and uh, by the way, I I did uh, I did go to uh, the pet shop yesterday and get that uh, uh, natural organic collar for my dog. They only had one left, but she said more are coming in, and uh, they last three months. And they run between fifteen and twenty dollars, and uh, you know they're plastic, and you put them or put it around the neck, and then you snip it, you know, uh, after you get it through. So uh, make it nice and neat, and um, it's a pleasant smell. You know, it's a smell of um, I think peppermint, almond oil. Uh, I forget what else. It's all natural ingredients, and it's a very pleasant smell. So your pet also smells nice. Maybe I'll get one to wear it around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better put one around your car. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's nothing will help that. So, I yeah, saw a great uh, documentary uh, yesterday on on uh, on Amazon about the Iron Sheik, the wrestler uh, who was played the bad guy to perfection years ago. You know, that's I've really come to appreciate the documentaries. Yes, that 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 are now. Available. I've seen some amazing documentaries on some amazing uh, people that I ha I knew nothing about, and then about things that I I do. Not, and the art right. of documentary making has really come these these a very people. long way. You're yeah. absolutely right. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that. I watched the documentary on um, the burying of uh, Cecil B. DeMille's sets yes. in yeah. um, in the Hollywood Hills because he buried uh, the sets of like you know whatever it was. Uh, um, the Ten Commandments and stuff yeah. like that, and they recovered that. Yeah, there's just so many good documentaries out there. There really are, and I think that once this pandemic is over, I think more people will go see documentaries in movie theaters again. I think I, I don't think they'll be the, uh, the the second cousin of the movie theaters because they are now produced and are just as well produced and fun to watch as a movie yeah, yeah. as a regular movie. Yeah, 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 absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and that was fun. That was fun to watch that stuff. So, yeah, um, good point. Good point. If you're bored, watch a documentary. Even if you're not bored, just just scan what movies are out there, and uh, and something might just catch your eye. Uh, it live like it's like you know years ago in this country, when you went to a Chinese restaurant, you ordered chow mein and egg rolls, right? 
or right. shrimp or shrimp right. and but but when all of a sudden all these other cuisines started coming in people started experimenting not just ordering from what column one or column two and right. that's and that's what all this video does now you no longer just have to order from column one or column two there you go all right well we've ordered our forecast we'll see how it pans out pat See you on April Fool. Yeah, we, we can't send it back to the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Right, exactly. All right, Pat, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Pat Pagano this morning at the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.